Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And I had a viewer, Andrew, wanted me to answer a question for him about a stator inside these engines. Now this is a dual voltage stator. If you can focus on this close enough, you'll notice that four of these coils are a heavy copper wire and four of them are very thin copper wire. That is how they get a dual voltage out of this thing. Uh, it doesn't have a rectifier on it, so I'm not sure how it develops AC and DC current, but they do. And typically on Briggs and Stratton's, the red wire is DC. The black wire is AC. You can check that with a meter. You can set your meter to DC voltage. You put one probe in this plug on the red wire and the other one on the ground on the engine. That's going to give you a DC reading. Depending on the RPMs of the engine, is the voltage you're going to get off of this thing. At 3,000 RPMs, the standard speed, you're going to get about 13 to 14 volts on this red wire. Now, to make sure you have the DC wire, switch the leads around. Put the black lead on the red wire and the red lead on the ground you'll get a negative 13 volts. If you switch the leads around again and put the red lead on the red wire, the black one on the ground, you're going to get either it's going to say a positive 12 volts or it's just going to say 12 volts. Then you're going to know you've got the DC wire. That goes to your battery. The AC wire, why they do this, I have no clue. That goes to your headlights. Your DC is going to run the headlights. I, I really have no idea why they do that. Uh, but to check for the AC lead, do the same thing. Put one probe on the wire and one probe on the engine block. You'll get whatever RPM you're at. Let's say you're going to get 12 volts on it. If you switch the leads, you're going to get 12 volts. You won't get a negative reading, not on AC. And just hook the wires up accordingly. It's, it's not that hard to do if you've got a meter that does AC and DC. This one is a cheap meter. It was about 90 bucks. Uh, it's cheap because uh, sometimes I use it at work. Uh, the meter, the the, uh, the good meters that we use at work are Fluke, and they're about 450 dollars. Not a lot of people have them at home, but you can pick up a. a inexpensive, cheap, <laughs> both, um, AC, DC meter at like Harbor Freight for probably $12. But it won't be a digital meter. This is digital readout on it. It'll be an analog. It'll have a needle with a bunch of numbers. It'll still tell you what you want to know. If you have one of those styles, when you're checking your DC current on your stator, the needle will go up to 12 volts. If you switch your leads around, the needle is just going to go backwards and kind of bounce off a of zero. Then you know you got your DC. But uh, Andrew, it's really simple to check it out. <clears throat> if you have any other questions or issues, send me another email and I'll be more than happy to help you. Until next time, work safe, 
have fun and let's get them lights running. We'll talk to you soon.